I'm working on a form of nuclear power that's apparently very clean and very scalable. In working here at NASA, you're exposed to a lot of different things. Um, and I became aware of uh, a new theory, a Widom Larson theory, about uh, three years ago now, that appears to explain why you can use the weak force to get at um, nuclear power in a, in a completely different way. I had been working with uh, uh, Lewis Larson, one of the authors of the paper, uh, to understand the theory. The way that we're looking at this is, is to take and add just a neutron to an element, increase its mass slightly, but the, there's binding energy involved again that's released in the form of nuclear energy. The key here is how do you produce the neutron? And that, that's, that's the exciting thing that's been uh, becoming more and more evident in, in the work from the past 20 years that people have done worldwide. What we're trying to do is, is an ex a physics experiment, to understand whether the widom larsen theory um, and its predictions are, are uh, at least in part correct. We made a little device, a centimeter and a half wide by two centimeters long, comprised of these little, little tiles. Each tile is a separate test device, and we have 48 different experiments that we can run simultaneously. We run an experiment on this entire thing, and we see how this square compares to the one next to it. And so it becomes a differential measurement. The tolerances for making a good differential measurement are, are greatly reduced. And the other thing is uniformity. We, we process this device the same, and it accelerates the science we do as well, but makes it easier. The interpretation of the, the data is um, much more direct, and the criticisms that have been levied against previous res, uh, attempts uh, aren't, aren't uh, valid in this case. We got to work with a small company on a study to see whether we could do something that's been desirable by NASA for a long time. That's a single stage, fully reusable space plane, a rocket, something that could take up a reasonable sized payload to orbit and return without shedding any parts. So when you think, when you fully grasp what this represents, uh, a, a very inexpensive, clean form of power if we were to have such a thing, it would be the sort of technology that would fuel our future growth and expansion and have the ability to raise the standard of living of the entire world.